there, everyone. This is Bob Martin, the RC sub guy with the Nautilus Drydocks.com. You know, it's about time that I tackled this video because it's something that uh, so many people uh, email and call me about. Um, I don't think it's an overly complicated uh, matter, but it is one that uh, throws a few people for a loop. And I'm talking about setting up the drive line for a twin prop boat where the prop shafts do not align to the output shafts of your drive motors. And so uh, specifically, I'll probably be talking about the ARC model type seven uh, kit, but what I'm gonna be talking about is gonna be applicable for any model with dual uh, shafts. So let's take a look here. This is the basic setup that I use uh, for almost all of my builds. So you can see twin prop setup, uh, three bladed prop that would be typical for the type seven. And we've got a, a main drive shaft and an intermediate drive shaft. And we'll take a look at the different components here. So we've obviously got our prop that would be going through a bushing at this point for stabilization. Comes into the hull, another bushing for stabilization. A universal joint, and, uh, and this allows for uh, transmission of that rotational power um, it, through a, a bent angle. Uh, and then we got an intermediary shaft or intermediate shaft that goes into a dog bone uh, adapter and um, into the drive shaft that comes out of your watertight cylinder. Now, this is probably the, the more complicated part. Uh, this is a simple drive shaft uh, coupler, universal joint. I offer these in my store, and for the ARC model kit specifically, it's a four millimeter by four millimeter uh, universal joint. You use the stock stainless steel drive shafts, uh, cut them, and then you uh, put that in the middle to establish your intermediate joint. This is something that uh, you probably haven't seen because I just literally came up with it today. This is a, uh, a cast, actually it's a 3D printed resin dog bone. Uh, and the difference between this and the standard dog bone is this has a uh, shaft opening in there and that would slip into, uh, the shaft, sorry, would slip right in there. And what you would do is you would uh, glue it drill it and put a pin through it to make sure that it doesn't spin. And then looking at the way that this dog bone uh, adapter works, your drive shaft uh, simply slips in to that adapter and it allows um, angular transmission of rotational torque um, and it allows for easy installation of the cylinder. So that is it. This is all of the complication in setting up the uh, drive system for your dual shaft boat. Like I said, this is applicable for any dual shaft boat where the output shafts of the motor do not perfectly align with the uh, main drive shafts for your prop. I'm going to show you a couple of photos here right now as I blather on uh, about the end. And this was taken from an actual ARC model installation that I had sitting up in the front of my shop. You can see where that uh, drive shaft enters the hull, where that universal joint uh, bends that drive shaft, and then where the uh, dog bone interface is made between the cylinder and the uh, drive system itself. Uh, and in that build, obviously, it was a little bit different. We used uh, you know, a staggered set of sleeves to mount a standard nylon dog bone versus using this uh, sort of easy uh, dog bone adapter that I came up. And that uh, product, by the way, is available in four millimeter, one eighth and three sixteenths inch sizes. So just bear that in mind. It might make your life a little bit easier. We'll be making that a product here shortly. I hope this helps you. Um, certainly, I'm hoping it'll alleviate some of my workload in answering emails for confused people who don't know how to hook up their drive line. Um, if you have any questions, though, by all means, uh, hit me up, bob at rc-sub.com. I'd love to hear from you. Again, it's Bob Martin, the RC sub guy with the Nautilus, drydocks.com. Thanks, everyone. Catch you next time.